Hi, hi everybody. This is Helen, your Stamping Up demonstrator from Bell Block in New Zealand. Right, it's nice to be with you today. Um, sorry, we're a little bit earlier today. I've got um, the granddaughters that I'm looking after uh, for the next four or five days. And I dropped them off to kindy this morning, come home to do a few things and thought I'd do my Facebook Live. And then I'm heading back down to Stratford to pick them up from kindy at 2.30. So that's why we're having an early Facebook Live at one o'clock. I thought I maybe could have just had the day off, but I thought, no, I know that there's a few of you out there that look forward to catching up. So I thought I'd come on board and show you a technique that I did. So I did specialty cards this week and we used a technique for one of the cards. And I thought it's a, quite a quick and easy technique and it's something that you could all do at home. So we're going to do that and then I will um, talk to you a little bit at the end and then I'm going to head off down to Stratford to pick the girls up. So I'll put you down to my table so you can have a look just a minute and I hope I've got this set right. I've just been trying to adjust it a little bit but I didn't really have a lot of time. Right, I will have a look on my iPad and just see if I've got this centred. I need to make sure I've got my volume down. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. It's always hard trying to work out where to position everything. Right, so I thought I'd do a technique today. And for the ladies that came to class this week, we'll know exactly what we're doing. But that's okay. So I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper. I've got a piece of white cardstock. So this is 9.5 centimetres by 13.8 centimetres. And what we're going to do with that, I'm going to bring in some of my ink pads. So I've got pumpkin pie. So you can use the blending brush, get a little bit of ink and just rub some pumpkin pie in a few areas of our cardstock. You can put on as much as you like. Okay, and you really want quite a deep colour. So you can keep adding and adding and adding if you like to um, until you get the colour that you like okay so that might do so we've got some splotches there of pumpkin pie now um, blending brushes come in a pack of three I have numerous blending brushes I actually like to keep the brushes for the type of colours that I'm using it makes life a lot easier otherwise I'd have to go over there and wash one out and wait for it to dry before I can use it for another colour so um, it's always quite good you know someone says oh we don't really need three well actually here yeah, you do <laughs> um, I love having you know the blending brushes with different colours so I'm just going to add some of this old olive into here now so the old olive goes really nice with the pumpkin pie um, as I say you can add as much depth as you like but I think that's probably looking pretty good. Now, you may not think it's looking pretty good, but I think it's going to look pretty good for the technique that we're doing today. And then I've decided to go with Cherry Cobbler. I had another colour out, and then I thought, oh, no, I think I'll do, go with Cherry Cobbler, because I love Cherry Cobbler. It's one of my favourite colours. And it goes really well with Old Olive. And um, so... You might look and think, oh, I don't know what you're doing, Helen. <laughs> but it will all be revealed. Um, the card I did yesterday, we, we did this technique, but we used different colours all together. And um, it's surprising what you can get from different colours. So I thought, right, let's just put a few more autumn-y colours out there and see what that looks like. So really, um, the darker your colours are, the better this technique will work. Okay, and you'll see why when we do it. Right, I think that will do. So that is my piece of cardstock that I have now coloured. Now the next thing we're going to do, I'll put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing now. Um, I'll just take that piece of cardstock away because all of my colours are going to run. And I'm just going to grab this stamp here. So this is... Um, it's a stamp that we got when we went to convention. It is the Leaf Collection. 
And I used this yesterday for this technique and it worked really well. And I thought I'd use it today because I didn't have time to really um, go and find other things. So really nice because there's some quite solid images. And this, you can just do this technique once and it's, it's super easy. So what we're going to do with the stamp, we have these little spritzers. They're stamping up spritzers. They come in a pack of two, I think it is. Um, they're re really good. They're, they don't cost a lot of money. Um, I've just filled that with water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz this um, stamp with water. And you need a reasonable covering of water to make it really work. So make sure that it's covered reasonably well like that. So I don't know if you can sort of see how much water's on there but there is quite a bit so I'll move that piece of paper aside and I'll bring my piece of paper back here with my cardstock that I had coloured and I'm just going to turn this stamp over and stamp it directly on there like that and I'm just going to hold it down for a few seconds just to let that water absorb into the cardstock. We'll take it off. And you'll see that there's some, um, you may not see very well in the camera, but where that has stamped, the images are starting to dry. And as that dries, they will become clearer or um, yeah, a little bit more white. It's a really, really cool technique to do. So we just need to wait for that to dry for a few minutes. So I'll put that aside and I will show you what that looks like a little bit later because we're going to get the rest of the things ready for the card. So I've got a piece of Cherry Cobbler cardstock. Love Cherry Cobbler, as I said before. So I'm just going to fold that in half like so. And then I've got a piece of vanilla to put inside. Uh, because we've gone for the autumny colours, the vanilla cardstock may be nicer. And I have picked this stamp, which is from Thoughtful Wishes, which is a really nice stamp. So I thought I'd use this leaf image, because I'm going to use the die from that set shortly. And Wonderful Thoughts. We've got this beautiful congratulations and wonderful thoughts. And this is the beginning of a life filled with love. So I thought that would be really nice to put on the inside. So I'm going to grab back my cherry cobbler and I need a piece of cardstock. It's not all wet. This will be fine. And I need to, oh no, I don't need, yes I do, because I'm going to stamp over the edge, aren't I? Right, so with the cherry cobbler, I think we will put the words with cherry cobbler in the middle. So this is a life filled with happiness. Like that. And then with the old olive, close up my cherry cobbler. I'm going to use this little leaf image and just stamp this across the corner. And I might stamp it across this corner too. There you go, just like that. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then... I'm going to grab my stamp and seal and we'll put some tape. Oh, let's start it off. Tape along there and we'll just pop that inside our card. Now we're just doing this while we're waiting for that piece that we stamped to dry. Okay, so just like that. So that's our inside of our card. So as you can see, it is drying and it's starting to come up really nicely. You can see the um, the leaf images a lot better. So it will continue to dry. So I'll put that aside a bit longer. <coughs> I now have a layer of gold foil. So I love using gold. And when I use it um, and you're going to put something like this on it, you are going to lose part of it. So you always want to... Um, make the most of that, that piece. So I'm going to cut out this um, die. So this die is from the Thoughtful Wishes. So the Thoughtful Wishes comes with a stamp set and a set of dies. So this is one of the dies out of that set. And so I'm going to cut that out of the middle of that. <coughs> and then I can use the outside as my frame and use the, the inside 
um, fancy image as well. So I will bring my cutting and embossing machine. And for this one, I need to bring my large cutting and embossing machine on. So it's, because um, I have to cut it out of this piece here. So we'll just cut it across the corner like that. Put our plate on the top. Straighten them up and wind that through. So we'll do that. There we go. I'll just move that aside. And here we go. So that's our piece we can use on our card. Whatever I've done with the card now, because I've put it somewhere really safe and I don't know where. Um, and then under here. So that can go onto there now because that just gives us a little bit of a border of the red of the cherry cobbler. So we'll just put that on there. I hate the thought of just covering up all that beautiful gold. It just seems such a waste. So this is a good way of using it and also using um, the inside of it for something else. So we'll just line that up, put that on there like so. And our piece is drying. So we'll just let that dry a little bit longer. And then I'll just pop this image out of here. So these images are great. They're really fine and delicate. Um, they're really gorgeous. So I just like that. Clean that dye out later. We'll just take some of these extra pieces out. So they pop out really easily as well. So just like that oh i know what i was going to do i had the adhesive sheets put on the back of this and i forgot how silly am i but never mind we will put it on with some glue dots we could even use a bit of glue if we needed to so we'll just get rid of that rubbish into my rubbish bag so yes i had every intention of using um adhesive sheets but never mind Right, so this is drying more and more as, as we wait, okay? So we have that to go on there, and we also need to create some words. Now, I thought I'd use the basic beige, so this is a new cardstock. Really nice because it's just quite subtle. So I'm going to do that, and what I will do is... Grab my gold embossing powder and the congratulations. It was from that set, Wonderful Thoughts. Just going to verse a mark that. Stamp that like so. And then put the powder on. Okay, and now I can go and I could go and heat that, but to save you listening to the noise of the heat tool, I've already done one, and I have cut it out with the cutters. So there are dies that come with that set. So the wonderful thought set have dies to cut all your words out. Makes life a little bit easier. So I've already made my congratulations. Okay, now. Let's see how we're going with this. This should be fun. Take that out of there. So this is one that I made earlier, because I'm just thinking this one's still taking a little while to dry. So rather than wait for that one to dry a little bit longer, I made this one earlier. So exactly the same. And I'm going to put that on with I might just trim that down to size I'm just thinking I've got all this beautiful gold it'd be quite nice to see a little bit more of it so I'm just going to get my trimmer and I'm going to cut that down let's see I just missed the edge there of the pattern so if we go down to 13.3 centimeters I'm going to take that off and then we'll go to nine centimeters Okay, so sometimes you can use a larger piece and then trim it down, which is good. 
Okay, then that can go on there like that. And we're going to have a little bit larger gold border around the edge. Okay, so we will attach that. Now, when you're attaching this, because we've it's been wet and it's dried, it curls as it dries, okay? So I would use some tear and tape on there or something that's, or use tape all the way around it, just for that reason, because it has curled up a little bit and we don't want it lifting. So I'm just gonna use some tear and tape all the way around the edges and I'll just put a little bit through the middle. Right, so we'll take all of that off. So just easy peasy. Pick me tools great for this and <laughs> get those pieces off when your nails aren't looking as great as you'd like them to be. Right, so then we just need to work out always a bit of a worry this stuff because once it's down it's down isn't it that will do right just like that okay so that's really lovely and then we're just going to put our little piece of gold across the corner like that so because I forgot to put the um, piece of sheet on we will use some mini glue dots. Now there's a couple of pieces I need to take out of there. Here we go, got them out. So we'll grab our mini glue dots and I know I have, um, I showed my ladies at class and I'm not sure whether I showed you or not, but sometimes with a mini glue dot, you don't want a whole glue dot. So if you just hold one half of it with your finger and just pull off little pieces, you can get smaller glue dots. So it's quite handy to do that. Um, the other way with the with the large ones, you can roll them. So you just roll them together like a little ball, and then you can attach them onto wherever you want them to go. So I'll just put a few of those on. Um, sometimes it's good to glue things down or to have things flat, but sometimes it's quite nice to have things that are attached in places but not attached everywhere, because you get a little bit more of a um, 3D look, I guess you could say. Lots of glue dots here. There was two stuck together. I don't know how that happened. Right, put a little bit in there and a little bit. There. That might just about do it. Oh, I need one down there. One more place. So we'll just take a piece off there, put that on there. And there's a little bit left, so we might as well use that one up. Oh, they're sticky there, but they're great. Great thing to have in your crafting kit. Right, so we'll just put that along the corner like so. And then my little congratulations, I'm just going to put that across there like that. So we'll just grab some mini dimensionals. And we can use couple of these in a couple of places I think just only just and then to get smaller ones just trim down through there like that and all of a sudden your mini dimensional becomes a half mini dimensional and that is a lot easier to use on some of the small pieces like this okay and I might need one more little tiny bit the other thing is you use your edges easier to cut with your scissors while they're still connected to here they really are so cut them while they're on there take them off and you try cutting them it can be a bit of a mission right so we'll just take these dimensionals off the little ones are a bit harder to get with the pick me tool but that's all right oh, there we go okay put that across there could go up here. Do we want it up there? Oh, no, I think we'll just go across the middle there like that. That'll be fine. Across there like that. So that is our card today. So it is, um, I call it water stamping, which is really nice. A nice look. And, yeah, it comes up really lovely. you just got to give it a chance to dry. Um, you can use any colours you want. And depending on what colours you use, they will all look different. So there you go. That's that one. 
Um, I'll see if I can find the one we did yesterday. So this is the one we did yesterday. So different colours again. Same stamp, same technique. Um, but yeah, just different colours. But I'm really happy with this. I, I love autumn colours anyway. I think they're really, really nice. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So if you do have a go at watercolour, uh, at water stamping, please send me a photo. I love sharing what you do with others. We always get lots of different ideas um, and it's really, really pleasing to see that you're out there watching my videos and that you want to then um, give it a go, which is really awesome. So thank you very much for joining me today. As I said, sorry, it was a bit earlier today because of um, you know, me wanting to head down and catch up with the girls. Um, what else is happening? So I've got the weekend off this weekend because I'm, I've got the girls. And next weekend, I have my team retreat. So I'm looking forward to that, looking forward to spending some time with the ladies from my team. Uh, we always have a blast when we get together. And um, I'm sure it's going to be lots and lots of fun. Next week is container cards. So that's what I'm up to next week. And I'm sure I will be here at 2 p.m. next Thursday with my Facebook Live. And I'll see if I can inspire you with something else. Okay, you everyone, I hope you have a great day. Really nice to have you join me. And I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Okay, bye for now.